Hello children this is Dimple from Dimple's Joy of Storytelling Today I've come with a new series a new story in the Ben Liz and Digger series The name of the story is London Sights The title itself is self explanatory It tells us that Ben and Liz with mom and dad and their very dear Indian friend Ajay and Kamla are going to sightsee London city Okay now let's see what all is interesting in this city Oh dad the bus is coming said Liz looking back Hurry up we can't miss it They all ran Mom and dad Liz and Ben and their friends from India Ajay and Kamla Children I'm going to hold the picture for long so you can read it along if you can read this is a level 7 story so i'm sure some of you are able to read if you are 6 years and above so because i'm holding the page for long you can read along with me look at the pictures look at the sentences carefully and read along you will have fun too all right let's continue just in time said mom let's go up shall we then we can see everything it's an open bus so they want to sit on the top so much fun that you can see everything from from up they were in london for the day and they all wanted to see the sights look over there said dad across the river it's the house of parliament said kamla i've seen pictures of it do we know where we have house of parliament in india it's situated in new delhi The clock has got my name said Ben it's called Big Ben you are little Ben said Liz with a smile the bus went across the bridge boats were going up and down the river on they went looking at everything there were cars and buses everywhere all the people looked as if they were in a hurry We also have a Raja Bai Tar near Mumbai University in the city of Bombay which is a lot like Big Ben. They got off the bus. Oh, sit Kamla. Look at these birds. Birds all over the people. They are pigeons. Oh hell. London pigeons. This is at Trafalgar Square children. This bird feeding, the pigeon feeding is at Trafalgar Square. They won't hurt us. They just want to be fed. Liz and Dad went to get some pigeon food. The pigeons were flying round and round and waiting for the goodie. Put the food on your hand like this, said Dad. Kamla was really brave. She put out her hand. Oh, said Ben. It does feel funny. I don't think I like pigeons because they're going to peck, okay, while picking up the seed and the grain. So some children may get frightened, but these pigeons will be all over you. They'll sit on your head, they'll sit on your shoulders, they'll sit on your arms. Yes. Waiting to be fed. Let's walk to Buckingham Palace now, said mum. Buckingham Palace. We would see if the queen is at home. How do we know that? asked Liz. When she is at home, said mum, they fly a flag from the palace. Let's go and see. So they walked through the park to Buckingham Palace. Oh dear, said dad. No flag. Perhaps the queen's gone away to another country for a day or two. And there is a Uh, march past also at buckingham palace changing of the guards every sunday on the way back they stopped to get a picnic then they went to the river river thames yes it's thames but you pronounce it as thames could we have a trip on a boat asked ajay please why not said dad here's a boat it's going to the tower of london Soon the boat set off. This is the way to see everything, said Mum. Don't all the buildings look lovely? 
It was fun to have their picnic on the river. The boat went under the bridge after bridge. There were so many bridges. The boats were going under the bridge one after the other. They were all happy. At last they came to the Tower of London. It looked very big and really very very old. Here we go, said mum. Don't get lost. Men called beef eaters. These are actually guards who have special uniforms and they take care of this uh, London Tower. Okay? Men called beef eaters looked after all the people. They had special blue coats on and all the people wanted to take pictures of them. Keep up Ajay, said dad. Follow the beef eaters. After they had been round all the old buildings, they went inside to see the crown jewels. Oh, said Kamla, I would like some jewels like these. And there is a very big diamond from India, which is there in the Tower of London, named Kohinoor. These jewels are for very special days said dad. The queen wore that crown on her coronation day. Coronation day is a day when she was crowned the queen. Liz was trying to think what it would feel like to put on the crown. Would you like to put on a crown? I would love it. Feel like a queen? Yes. Who's tired? asked mum at the end of the day. Not me, said dad. Let's walk all the way back to the station. Oh no, said Liz and Ajay. My feet really hurt, said Ben. So do mine, said Kamla. I can't walk anymore. Don't your feet hurt too? Mum asked Dad. Well, said Dad. <laughs> he laughed. Perhaps they do a bit. There's always the underground, said Mum. That's a tube, it's a train, underground. So to end their day in London, they went on the underground. Ben was so tired that he was soon fast asleep. I hope you enjoyed the story children and you also got some information about London. Next time when you go to London, you can look at all these places and name them yourself. Sure your mom and dad will be so proud of you. I'll see you next week with a new interesting story. Till then, bye and take care.